Forced to choose, do you sell the eagle, the swan, or the hego first? I think it's pretty easy. You start mowing your neighbor's lawn so you don't have to sell anything. So this one is about exit strategies. And what that means in the context of buying gold coins is simply knowing what to buy in the first place. Here in the United States, it's pretty simple. The American Gold Eagle is the most liquid form of gold bullion, so that'd be a logical place to start. Now, that doesn't mean that the only logical plan here is to buy eagles. It's just a good example of planning for an exit, whether that's through a gradual sell-down or a response to an emergency. Maybe it's just passing them down to a family member. Now, I stack eagles as my base, but I drift from that all the time. A good example of that is the buffaloes that I've been buying. I know that I'll never have any trouble selling them if I need to though, and I do think it's smart to have some 24 karat coins in the mix, so really that's not a very far drift, but I buy other things too. I buy Canadian maple leaves, I buy some Britannias, and then of course I just buy the stuff that I like, even though I know that it wouldn't be nearly as well known here as coins from the US Mint. And then every so often I'll buy something just because it's cheap. So if you were to look at the gold that I have at this point, it would be about maybe 80% US coins that I know I can sell very quickly regardless of whether the market for gold is hot. And then something like 15% would be gold that I could probably quickly sell, but the price would depend on the market cycle. And then finally, you'd see about 5% of what I have I bought simply because I'm stupid. Basically, that means I either didn't consider an exit or I just didn't care. When I started, that was probably more like 50-50. 50% smart or a lucky guess, and then 50% stupid. Now, over the years, I've sold off a lot of my bad decisions, and I got stung in a lot of those sales. If you're planning for an exit, gold is not gold, and I had to learn that the hard way. And basically, what I'm saying there is that retail demand cycles, they're not always going to line up with an emergency exit. And just to give you some color there, I had a case in 2015. It wasn't dramatic. It was just that there was a real estate deal that popped up and the demand for gold at the time was pretty low. And even though the timing on selling that gold wasn't great, it prevented me from having to liquidate some other investments. So it's a pretty easy decision. But part of that gold was a pile of 20 francs roosters. I'd been buying roosters because I liked the price and I liked the design. But it turned out that my local coin shops didn't share my enthusiasm for the coins. So long story short, I wasn't able to sell them all at once, not even close. It took a long time to sell them. Now I'm not saying that buying 20 francs roosters is stupid, just for the record. I just had a lot of things at the time that I had bought without ever thinking about how I might sell them. So today, most of what I have is pretty liquid, and I have a general idea of what order that I would sell them in. This question actually came up for my Q&A a few weeks ago, but I cut it from the video. It just needed a longer answer. The question came from a comment, jdre2155 wrote, If you had to burn down your assets due to prolonged lack of income, in other words, major health issue, layoff, etc., what order would you think best to sell out from first to last? And this is the exact question that I plan for. I want to make sure, first of all, that I have savings in case something takes a bad turn. And then I want to make sure that I can find a balance so I have quick access to cash without having too much locked up not doing anything. Now, to me, an American Gold Eagle is not really that far from cash in terms of liquidity, and I've learned that they can be moved very quickly at any time. So if I wanted to store a significant amount of cash in gold, that would be the ideal here. Buffaloes would be very similar. And then Maple Leafs, Krugerrands, they're not that far off, but everything else might take some time. I wouldn't have trouble selling one coin at a time if they were spread out far enough, but I might have trouble selling five or more at a time. I might have trouble selling them over and over and over each month. So to that question of what assets to sell down in a personal SHTF scenario, well, it's a wider question because it's not just gold at that point. I would start by burning through cash in a traditional checking or savings account. That's just standard stuff. And then I'd look at equities, digital assets, precious metals, things, and then finally, I guess, real estate. Now, some of those assets are going to get hit with capital gains taxes in a sale. So if I was trying to pull from a retirement account, there'd be huge penalties pulling from that tax deferred account. That's like a 401k. And there are qualifying events that will allow you to take out loans against those kinds of accounts without paying penalties. But 
that's boring stuff and, and it's a lot of detail that I don't have in front of me. But long story short, equities are a little like gold in that some are going to be easier to sell than others. So depending on the market and assuming that I don't have a huge pile of cash in a savings account, I would start with digital assets, precious metals, or equities first. It all depends. Now, if I needed to sell tomorrow, considering the market we're in right now, I would probably sell off the stocks in my brokerage account that are in long-term gain territory. And that just means I've had them for more than a year, so the tax ramifications are lower, and I'd sell the ones that really aren't doing much first. And of course, I'd also have to look at my cost basis so I'd know what the tax hit was going to be next year. So the ones that had the least potential and would result in the smallest tax bill would be the ones that went first. I could just as easily sell off Bitcoin, even though I know I would be doing it at a low, but I wouldn't sell it all at once. I would just sell it as needed because I do think there's still life there. And this is all assuming that I knew it would be an extended issue. If I thought it was just a quick need, I would never sell stocks or Bitcoin knowing that I'd be hit with a tax bill next year. I'd just sell off a little bit of gold and then I'd start buying it back as soon as I could. Now, in a prolonged issue like JDRay 2155 mentioned, I would sell down the way that I buy up, which means that I'd sell some assets to get a base, and then I'd burn down monthly, dollar cost average style. And then putting the gold in the mix, I would sell through everything that I thought would be hardest to sell first because the market is hot right now. So I'd take in my stupid stuff first, and then I'd get anything with collector value listed on eBay or somewhere like that so I could fish for the best price. My disaster plan has always been to sell one ounce of gold a month, and in an ideal case, I'd have enough popular coins to make that easy. Most of the disasters I can think of, though, would require more than that one coin up front, so that's where the eagles come in. And if I needed a large amount of cash, a tube of eagles beats anything else. And if you really hate eagles and you want to just substitute buffaloes anytime I, I say eagles, feel free because they're not much different. But back to the idea here of that prolonged issue. Prolonged to me means 24 months, and that's what I plan for. Most recessions have corrected in that period of time. And if it was a personal issue, well, two years would give me enough time to come up with something else. Maybe I could start up a YouTube channel. Now, obviously, I'm just clowning around on that YouTube thing. And I get that not everybody has stocks or Bitcoin that they could sell with a few clicks. I mentioned things earlier, too. And maybe that's a watch or a pocket knife or something that has held its value surprisingly well. What I've found, though, is that things tend to be terrible assets. Bicycles or hunting gear or most of the things that we spend our money on tend to do very poorly in a sale. Now, there are obvious exceptions to that, but that's a big reason that I like gold. It has always been easy to sell, assuming that I make the right choices on what to buy. So that's probably enough on this one. There were a few other questions that I'm going to try to get to soon as well. In the meantime, though, let us know whether you've thought this through, whether you're, you've thought through which assets to sell through first or just specific to precious metals, how you'd sell them down. And hey, while you're there, hit that like button if you enjoy the topic. And then, of course, make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more. And if you have made it this far, thank you again for watching. I always appreciate your time. Take care.